Hi, my name is Monica. I am Polish Nigerian and today is story time. I want to tell you about what it was like growing up mixed race in Poland. My mom was Polish. Um, she passed away last year. My dad is Nigerian and they met at a university in Poland, in Łódź. My dad came from Nigeria um, on a scholarship to study. I was born in Poland and for the first three years of my life, pretty much, I lived in between um, the campus with my mom and dad in Łódź and with my grandparents in a small Polish town. And I really have to acknowledge my grandparents here because they were just amazing. Bear in mind, I was born in the 80s, growing up in the 80s and 90s. You know, being mixed race in Poland isn't common today. It was even more rare in those days. So I really have to acknowledge my grandparents because they were so open-minded and they just embraced my father, um, myself, and later on my sister. I received so much love from my mother and my grandparents, you know, uh, my Polish grandparents. Um, so my father left when I was very young and I mean left, he went back to Nigeria. We do have a decent relationship right now, but um, he wasn't there when I was growing up. Did I feel different um, in Poland? Yes, I did feel different. Uh, I mean, I knew I was kind of different, but it wasn't something that was on my mind a whole lot. Um, and I don't even think it was necessarily this color of my skin that made me feel different. It was just the mindset. I was different um, when it came to that, I think. And the color of my skin has never been a problem for me. I mean, it must have been partially due to my, um, the people who were there, my mother, my grandparents, they always affirmed me. They never focused on the skin color. They put emphasis on things like education and, you know, the kind of person that you are and all that stuff. But um, I always loved <laughs> the color of my skin. I always thought it, it's perfect and it's just what it's meant to be. I do remember kids calling me Charna, Charna. I did mention that in my other video about being white in Africa and black in Europe. But um, so, yes, there were moments, but those were kids and kids are kids, you know, the same way um, they would shout, I don't know, redhead at another and it wasn't a compliment. And you know what I mean? Like, it's not something that had a huge impact on my, you know, identity or anything like that. I mean, I always felt very comfortable in my skin. I did have a problem with my hair at some point in time, I have to say. I wanted straight, I wanted to have straight, silky, long hair, which was never the case, still isn't. Um, but again, I think it was more about management and the fact that, okay, fair enough, I did see the Polish girls, they have, a lot of the times they have long, straight, hair so that was what I was seeing around me and maybe that's the reason why I wanted it but to me it was I guess partially about management this hair is a little bit unruly and plus remember when I was growing up in Poland um 80s in the 80s and the 90s we did not have um the afro hair care products that we have right now I mean even in London I don't think you had too many but in Poland no no no. Okay. So yes. So it was a mixture of things. Oh, I should mention that I did iron my hair uh, when I was young. I think I must have been about 12, 13, 14. I don't know. I did it with an iron, like the, the actual iron on an ironing board. And yeah. Occasionally I would burn the tips of my ears. It was kind of dangerous thinking about it right now. It was kind of dangerous, but yeah. Mm -hmm. My ears are fine though, and I no longer do that. I don't even straighten my hair anymore. I just, you know, I really appreciate it the way it is. Honestly, when I think about it, I really would have to think really hard to find many negative situations. And I do have, um, and I do have a friend who, um, who is mixed race just like me and she grew up in Poland too. And she, you know, she, once she was attacked by skinheads, um, she ended up in a hospital 
with a broken jaw so i'm not saying that my experience is um the norm or the only one i don't know what the norm is to be honest but i know my my experience isn't the only one i understand that you know this is not the experience of everyone um that some people have had bad experiences in poland and other european countries that are predominantly white countries caucasian countries i did feel a longing to be honest like i did feel um like there was something that i needed to discover but that's still with me to be honest <laughs> i'm still searching like i don't think this world is home in the first place so yes i left poland permanently um about almost two decades ago really uh, part of the reason being um i mean i did not want to I don't know it was just a tough time in my life again i don't think it had anything to do with or a lot to do with being mixed race but i did go through some i did go through some tough times and i felt like i did not want to draw attention to myself i just wanted to be able to hide that was not possible in poland you cannot hide if you're a mixed race person uh if you live in a small town you know yes um but um after i finished high school i moved on to Stettin, which is not too far from the German border, you know, I mean, you do draw attention to yourself <laughs> if you are not um, a white Polish person. And that was annoying. It is not necessarily a volatile type of attention, but you know that people notice you. You know that they make silly comments. You know that um, sometimes they say things to you that are just random. And those things I would put in the category of annoying or just pet peeves you understand i don't see it as racism uh, maybe a little bit of ignorance and again pet peeves i don't see it as um intentional <sighs> yeah but sometimes it can get on your nerves so yes yeah, so i was searching i was trying to hide a little bit but to be fair i've lived in london for almost two decades right now and i'm still searching i'm still you know, I still don't know where the London is, where I'm going to stay, um, England. Um, I don't know where I'm going to be in the next one to two years. Maybe it might be Africa. <laughs> you never know. It may not be, but it might be. God knows. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm still searching. I've not stopped searching uh, just because I am now amidst people of different races, mixed race people, black people, white people, um, am i still talking about growing up in poland i think i need to just wrap it up so i wanted to share this experience because i see so many negative um videos about mixed race experiences i understand that those experiences are out there and i don't want to invalidate your experience if you're if it wasn't good i'm not trying to invalidate your feelings about um people from other races if that's even a thing to me there's just one the human race you know but i do feel like being mixed race is, is a gift you know I, i've lived in two very distinct in terms of racial awareness european countries england and poland specifically london um i don't really know much about other cities outside of london so and I've been to, I mean, I spent last year, I spent four months in Africa. I feel like that was a great experience. And I feel like if you are black, even partially black, if you can go to Africa and explore it for yourself, just so that you get a better understanding of who you are to an extent, really. I don't know if I necessarily got that better understanding of who I am, but I definitely noticed one thing or confirmed, reconfirmed one thing, which is we are all people <laughs> and we are not that different. Yes, we differ in various ways, but we are not that different. So, you know, one time I posted a picture of uh, my mom, my dad and, and me, I think, on social media and one lady commented she said not location not race and not the skin color make the basis of a friendship or love but the heart and soul you know and i could not agree more still i mean this was about i don't know 
five years, I don't know when, but it, it was many years ago that I posted and she uh, commented on the picture. Yeah, I, I've totally digressed from growing up in Poland, but um, I just want to tell you why I decided to share a little bit of my story. The reason why I decided to share a little bit of my story is because I can see so many negative stories about mixed race experiences growing up and all that. And I wanted to tell you, <laughs> if you don't know, that there are positive ones out there as well. And I would love to hear more about those too. Again, I'm not trying to invalidate the experiences that you had growing up but um yeah i don't know if i said enough but to be honest i don't even know what to say because to me growing up in poland was so normal i was just i i i, I never woke up thinking well i'm mixed race and i'm growing up in poland you understand like it was just such a normal <laughs> life if you have specific questions about what it was like growing up in Poland, mixed race, or what it is like right now um, to go there, feel free to ask me in the comments um, if 